Today, mourners in Detroit will say their final goodbyes to Aretha Franklin, and tomorrow a funeral will be held in the nation's capital for Senator John McCain. This morning, our John Keller explains how both have more in common than people may think. Good morning. There's a remarkable moment in history playing out on your TV over the next couple of days. The funerals of two world-famous people who exemplified the best of a sometimes overlooked generation of Americans. Later today, Aretha Franklin will be remembered at a funeral service in Detroit. Both musically, with performances by Stevie Wonder, Chaka Khan, and others, and rhetorically, by speakers including former Presidents Clinton and Obama. If you watch, you may learn about the courage Aretha showed as a female performer in a male-dominated industry and as a civil rights activist who was never afraid to speak her mind. On Saturday, Senator John McCain's memory will be honored in Washington with eulogies from Mr. Obama and former President George W. Bush, a chance for the uninitiated to learn more about his work ethic and moral courage. So, what do Aretha and McCain have in common? They were both members of the so-called silent generation of Americans, born between 1925 and 1945, a relatively small group often overshadowed by the saga of the so-called greatest generation that preceded them and the baby boomers who followed them. They were born in times of economic depression and global war and did their best to create something positive out of that adversity. Aretha with her music, McCain with his commitment to freedom and fair play. The silent generation is in their 70s, 80s, and 90s now, and with each passing year, we realize the irony of their nickname. Aretha Franklin and John McCain were anything but silent, and while they are now gone, their legacies will continue to speak loudly. Share your thoughts with me via email at keller at wbztv.com or reach out on Twitter at Keller at Large.